Hello and welcome my friend and next I am planning to show you that how to replace this Toyota Prius car's rear brake disc and it is this part in here. Okay and this job starts so that I have to take firstly this uh, brake caliper away and in this back area there are two 14 mm bolts and let's go to look those. Okay, here is this first one, it looks like that, this one, and second is in here, a little bit in down area in here. And now I need 14 mm spanner that I can, or socket, that I can open these bolts. Okay, and really this is 14 mm spanner, and now when we open that bolt, this is always interesting, then in, that in what direction I start to open that in this way or then in that way. And it is easy because this is not so tight bolt that we test that in which way it starts to rotate easily. Now I notice that it goes in this direction like starting and move. Start and move in this direction. And now this bolt opens and now I have to take this bolt totally away and there is really this is specific bolt and this is like first bolt and note that there is a little bit longer bolt in up area and shorter in down and we have to lubricate this bolt when we install that back this is like annual service so this breaks and then the second bolt it is in here that area we can look also that second bolt location is in here and now now we move that in not in this direction it goes also in down in this like clockwise and note that now we are in right side in this rear area start and moving is in that way and now I am rotating, doing this rotation. And now this bolt moves nicely. And there, there is now the second bolt. And really note that these are different size. And this is interesting in Toyota world because normally they are like normal size, but they are different size. Okay, and now when bolts are free. I can move this my brake caliper and now this brake caliper moves and there are those brake, brake pads and now I have to take away these steel pins and this is difficult job because I have to install that in this way and firstly there is this, there is this uh, metal pin in here and for that opening we need a little bit longer these pliers and when I install that in here I carefully I can bend this and it it goes out and note that there are really small holes where this this is locking pin there are really small holes in here where this goes this is important to remember and we can actually go to look closer Okay, now we can see that really this is locking pin and now I take it away. It could be a little bit tight, but with pliers and there is this pin and there is really small hole in here. And this part goes in there, this is important. Excellent, and now when we know that in what way this opens, we move this our brake caliper in this position that it takes a little bit contact and there are those side areas where I hit soon and now I need hammer and then I need something hitting tool what I can hit 
Okay, and then I need specific tool for hitting what is hard and sharp spike. And you can also use flathead screwdriver, but then these flathead screwdrivers drills can damage. And that's the specific tool. Fine. And now we can see in this back area that there is a small dot. And now I am removing these steel bolts, these pins, because they are normally very tight. But now when I install it in here and then I hammer in, there is my hammer carefully. Now, now these pins opens nicely. Then the second. Okay, good. And now we can look. Because pins are free in here. Okay, now we can look these pins. Because we have to lubricate these. And there are really two holes. This is important to understand. These two holes. Where I install this my steel locking steel pin in that way. Note, look, this is the system and this is good to understand because we have to install these pins later in just in right way that we can install this steel pin in here. If they are in wrong way, there is no any hole in here. Look, there is this hole. This is in some Toyotas and Lexus cars, they use this lock pin system. This is a little, little bit complex to use, but maybe very good. Okay, and then we go to next part, and we had this brake pads in here, and brake pads now, now they drops to ground, and and. There are my brake pads, and we check that there is this material more than one millimeter. And in my case, there is like four to five millimeter in both pads. And this means that this is okay, good pad, and we can install these back or then install brand new. And then we have this brake calipers, brake piston. What we have to compress in down, and this is normally hard part. And for the compression, if we have big pliers, we can carefully press this piston back in that way. Now, now it goes deeper nicely in there, or then we can use this. Is if we have if we have this compression tools that we compress this carefully in in that way in inner. This is the thing. Both sides works. Okay, and now I install this my brake caliber in here. And note also that there are those two moving this bolt positions what we have to lubricate install in here crease this is important that these parts moves if you have any rare brake issues check this okay now I install this my caliper in there and then we can go forward okay and then we remove this brake disc and there is trick that normally this brake disc is struck, stuck, and there is adjusting bolt in here. And next we look that adjusting bolt closer. There is really this rubber adjusting bolt, and when we use pliers, I take that away in this way. And there inside is feel what we have to rotate. Now we are really lucky because this my brake disc opens nicely, but normally this is stuck because there is rusty in inside in here, and then this brake juice takes contact, and there is this critical adjusting bolt 
what we have to move through that hole. And this makes this job quite difficult or actually we have to train this job because we need flathead screwdriver and then we move this feel in that way. When we look that hole we can see this adjusting this bolt and now my purpose is to rotate this feel so that this gap goes smaller and then this brake juice like compress inside and then brake disc removal is, is, is easy and now in this using that bolt I rotate that small feel and now when I take a little bit bigger screwdriver we can see that now, now it moves and now we can look that gap in here now it's quite big a yeah, nice view and this is this screw what I had to rotate in that way and note that this area gap moves and now I have I like that that it goes very small and that's I had to like move in that way because when this gap goes smaller brake juice compress and we can take this brake disc over and this is really this adjusting bolt this bolt in here that one is brake juice adjusting bolt and now when I rotate that in this uh, this like this is like up to down by or clockwise you can see that this this screw moves in here and it widers makes this brake juice bigger and then we can adjust this foot and hand brake this contact and now when I think that let's look at in what direction when I move that in up to down like anti-clockwise we can see that now this this area became smaller and brake juice became like like this diameter is shorter and in that way we can take this brake disc away when we move this like this small screw like clockwise and then when I like to adjust this my hand brake I have to rotate this feel in here or in that another area in here in clockwise like in this way and now we can look and now brake juice becomes bigger okay and we can purchase from amazon.com this excellent light what name is this uh, this petzel and these products come from this come from Germany and this is excellent car repair man's light because now when I press the switch now there is more light and second switch is bigger and this is the most bigger and using that device I can see now this my adjusting screw in here and now I need to adjust this like like clockwise and it means that that down it and now I rotate that in up to down and soon I notice that I can't move this my brake disc and then we are in target because then our foot brake is in good contact now I rotate and a couple of turns and look this my movement and and this is this can be in first step it can be difficult but when we train when we train that and now I checked that, that yes there is this my And soon happens that I can't take this my brake 
disk away now because it became stuck but it's normal and I have to press this break disk in deeper okay and now I rotate that so much that this my break disk don't it don't move okay and really in that way we have replaced this brake disc and also we have adjusted this brake juice. Okay, and this Toyota Prius rear brake disc replace is also that we have to adjust really this inner area's brake juice, this foot parking brakes juice because when we replace new brake disc, then this adjusting is wrong. And that's now we have installed this right way and now brake disc is in good position. Okay, and then next part is that when we install this brake caliper back, we have to check that these parts move nicely in this way. And we can install in here this grease in this some some areas in here. And now I take my, my this grease. Now I use this copper paste. This is good. It is like made for brake works. And this is excellent. It it resists heat and it lubricates. And now I install this brown stuff in these moving parts now now in this area these areas and also it is the little bit inner and also this brake caliper this area and now when I move it is important that I move these these parts and we can replace these rubber boots also because they are like in my case they are broken and we can purchase new of these in Toyota dealership center but now I install in here this grease this copper paste in here and also in this inside in this rubber area and also in this down area also this is this purpose is to lubricate these moving these bolts because they are important and also that one and then it is good to install a little bit grease in these inner areas where those brake pads goes and now when this has been made I install this my brake caliper in here and we install next this brake juice okay and brake juice what are in here I have to install in this outer area this uh, copper paste because there is this corrosion risk and note I install in here this outer area not in this area in no inner area these and these sides, all of these contact points in that way, this side, that side. And now when these are ready, I can install this my brake pad in there. We can move these pins. Look, I press this in deeper. And that one also deeper. Now I have better installation in here. And this brake pad goes just in one one this direction 
And then if this grease goes in here, we take clean cotton cloth and we clean this grease away. And I notice also that, that here is a little bit and, and also in that area, this contact point, this must be clean that way. Now I install this brake pads o again, again in here. And now when it goes deeper, good. And in this position we can install these bolts back because then this brake caliber is more stable. And note that also in here, in this bolt, we have to install a little bit this uh, brake, this copper paste in that way. And now I install this bolt in this back area. And, and when, when we look that right position, there's we have to find this right position, what is in here. Now, now I have need to little bit search this bolt hole. Okay, and now I install really this upper bolt in position. And I little bit tight that. But now I install this back areas, brake disc in there inside, good. And then I take the second, second brake disc, sorry this brake pad, second brake pad, a little bit crease also in here. And this crease purpose is to eliminate this rusty situation in these areas. There is no any stuck in here. Now I install this one. It goes nicely. Excellent. And then here we have this final bolt. And really use these protective gloves because this grease, that stuff, it is harmful. Now I install this this bolt in here. I rotate also that one. Good. Okay, good. And now this area is ready. And then we have these locking pins, what we have to lubricate also. And I install, because these... Now there is this lock pin, and now I lubricate these also. Because this my old one is a little bit in corrosion, and now it is good, because there is this hole that we do in here small. Paint, like this sharper pencil that we can see that where is this hole because that one now and in, and in here I like to do some markings that now I know that in this position is this hole because this is important to remember because otherwise this is difficult to find now when I install, I have to install this hole in up. And in that position a little bit I move brake pads up and then I take my hammer and carefully I move and then second brake pads I move up because this locking pin goes through. And then finally, finally this lock pin have to go in that another side. 
And now I need to rotate that this way. Now it goes. And now when I rotate it, I have to check with mirror that where is this small hole. And then next, final this break pin and also crease in here. Now I install that one this way and in that way. And final part is to install this lock pin in here. And it can it can take time. Now I Okay, and now these pins are in there. And the final part is to really install this lock pin in here. And we have to search these holes in here and we have to rotate these bolts that we can see these holes in here. Okay, and then when we have mirror, we can look that where is this my lock pin in here. And now we can see that there is no any any these uh, holes in there visible and that's I have to rotate now this my pin that we can see in here this yes this hole is in here. Now we can see that it is little bit okay now it's in that position. Okay and now we can see move this actually very nicely this pin this was good trick. And then this upper one, when we look in this upper one, there is also this, this hole is just in this here. Now it becomes bigger. And now I need a little bit work so that now I managed to install this upper one in here. We can see that now this upper pin is okay and then I install this in down area also. Okay and now I have installed this lock pin in this position. Look how they are nicely in this upper area and also it's down area. This is critical. And the final part is we take cotton cloth and we remove this extra grease away in here and then we have to also install grease in that area in here because this is in my case it is rusty and that area a little bit and then my feels is easier to take out. Okay, that kind of information.